Hello, my name is Albert Welter. I am a professor and head of the Department of East Asian Studies at the University of Arizona. My specialty is East Asian Buddhism. The course that I'm excited to offer to you is Creating the World of East Asian Buddhism. The story of Buddhism has been frequently told in the West, but predominantly from an Indian perspective. This makes sense considering that India was the homeland of the historical Buddha, Shakyamuni. But in fact, Buddhism died in India and for the last 1,000 years or so has ceased to be a significant force. The story of Buddhism that I'm going to tell uh, takes place after the transfer of Buddhism from India to China, after Buddhism declined in India and when Buddhism started to reinvent itself in China according to Chinese indigenous beliefs and practices. The course I'm offering is about the creation of indigenous forms of Buddhism in the Hangzhou area. I'm going to concentrate on the developments that began in the 10th century when Hangzhou was the capital of an autonomous independent region in China called the Wu Yue Kingdom. And this kingdom greatly supported Buddhism and is well known as a Buddhist kingdom in China during that time, with its uh, capital, the main city of Hangzhou. Hangzhou is a city that many um, have not heard of in the West. Uh, it is outshined by its modern uh, contemporary rival, Shanghai. But Hangzhou is the traditional cultural center of the region, referred to in Chinese as the Jiangnan region, which simply means south of the Yangtze River and really incorporates the lower uh, reaches of the Yangtze River and um, the surrounding areas. So uh, I hope you'll take this opportunity to join me. Um, I'm looking forward to offering this course on creating the world of East Asian Buddhism. It's a subject that's dear to my heart, so I hope you'll join me.